Hi guys, so this is going to be my July gratitude video. So if you don't know what exactly it is that I do, I've accepted the 2016 gratitude challenge where you declare publicly every day for one year something that you were grateful for. My sister is the one that got me into this. Um, I've done it in years past. I don't do it every year, but I've done it in years past. And so what I do is I declare it on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all using the hashtag uh, Gal. And then at the end of every month, even though I know this is the end of August, we're almost ready to do my August one, um, I go through them. I do a video on my channel where I go through my Instagram, um, show the pictures that I used, and some of them I give a little bit more explanation to, some of them I don't, depending on what the gratitude thing is. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So day 183 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to live in the land of the great, true north, strong and free. Happy Canada Day, everyone. So this was July 1st. And so I just have my proud to be Canada. And I'm really hoping you guys are gonna be able to see these based on the shadow that's coming from the window. I closed up the blinds, so hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, day 184 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful that my brother Sandy is okay. So this is my brother Sandy, the security dog. Oh, there we go. Um, and what happened here was my dad had went away for two weeks to Ontario. He lives in Nova Scotia. And he decided not to take his dog with him because he was driving and that's an awful lot of travel for the dog although he does take the dog everywhere with him usually um so he left the dog with a family friend um the family friend was looking after sandy and at my dad's house for a couple days then she decided to go back to her house which is about an hour away and when she was pulling into her driveway she's like a u driveway i guess um, so she was going very slow when this happened, thank goodness. She had a seizure followed by a stroke and she crashed into a tree. So um, my dad knew that something was going on with the family friend because she wasn't posting anything on Facebook. She wasn't answering his calls or his texts or whatever. But the whole two weeks he was in um, Ontario, my dad had no idea if the dog was okay. So... Um, on July 2nd, he found out that he was fine. That he was actually staying with my uncle and my uncle's family. Um, day 184 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for good old fashioned ice cold water. So this is, if I figured out how to show you this without, there we go. This is my one liter purple bottle that I drink at home. I drink four to five of them a day. And then I drink uh, five to six of my 750 ml bottle. It's one of the no leak ones from Costco. Um, I drink that at work. I would like to get a bottle like this one for work and for travel, but it doesn't fit in my cup holder in my current car. I think it might fit in the SUV that I'm getting though. Um, so that's good. But if not, I just need to get a taller one liter one. Um, Day 186 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to have food in my fridge. I came home from work feeling very hungry and I opened the fridge to find healthy food at my fingertips. I know many people are not so lucky. This is a bad picture because I forgot to open up the crisper, but crispers, but you get the point. So if I can put it all in one frame. Here it is. So if you see, here is one of the natural juices I make my smoothies from. And beside that is two low calorie types of um, cranberry juice. Um, beside that, I don't know if you can see the container, but that's brining chicken. And then beside that is a homemade dip that I make out of fat free uh, sour cream and salsa. And then there's also, if you can see, I'm not sure, behind there you can see, um, oh, this light is really bad, guys, I'm sorry. Um, you can see that there's yogurt in behind, those blue covers. Then the next shelf has eggs and some Gatorade, which is my husband's, and milk, which is my husband's skim milk. Then the top, if you can see, oh, darn it. Oh, there we go. 
the top is there's corn and then there's a couple different types of whole wheat bread and then if you can see right over in this corner is homemade turkey sausages um, day 186 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to have been able to help a young lady live her personal truth without fear of discrimination. I love being an advocate. It's the best job in the world. So the picture I have is educate patiently, advocate passionately, inspire consistently. So that's what that looks like. If I have figured, there we go. Um... And what this is, is I was doing intakes for my current intake at work. Um, and I got contacted by a mom of a 19-year-old transgender girl. Um, and she is just starting the process of working with um, psychiatrists and psychologists and all the steps you need to take in order to do a transition in Canada. And so she came in. Um, and we had, a, I had a conversation with her and her mom and we talked about things like bathroom usage and pronoun usage and name usage and how, because the program that I do is funded by the provincial or sorry, the federal government. So it goes by your social insurance number that I would have to, um, check her eligibility using her birth name and her birth gender. Um, but then in the program, we would use her chosen name and her chosen pronouns. And yes, we had a great conversation about it. And yes, yeah, she, she left and her mom left saying that they felt, her mom uh, sent me an email saying that they felt very comfortable and um, her daughter felt very comfortable coming to the program and felt like she could learn a lot of life skills and a lot of work skills. And she felt like it was a place where she wasn't going to be discriminated against. And if she faced any form of discrimination, that I was going to be there to be the buffer to help her, which is exactly what I want to do, exactly the position I want to be in. Um, so that was very, very good. Um, day 188 of gratitude today. I'm grateful to get through the day. Boy, do I feel sick. So I just used, I'm going to try it from this angle. Yeah, there we go. I just used my stock picture that says, what are you grateful for today? That's what I use, because on Instagram you have to post a picture or a video, and sometimes I just don't have a picture that's relevant to the topic. Um, day 189 of gratitude today, I'm grateful that a dear friend's son is out of the hospital and back home in his own bed. So I use this one again, because for confidentiality I didn't want to use her picture and it's actually not well she is a really good friend of mine but it's actually one of my sisters um and my nephew and he had some crazy wacky stuff going on with him and he had to get a, admitted for about a week week and a half and they found out he has a rare genetic disease but it's manageable it's livable and so that day what was that that, that would be in the 7th of july he was able to come home so i was very grateful for that Day 190 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for these bad boys. Mailbox keys at our new house. Some very important paperwork was sent to our new house. And I almost was unable to access it. This is me I'm in my car right after. What's how did I figure out this works? I keep hitting the wrong one. There we go. Um, these are the mailbox keys. We get three mailbox keys, which I'm not exactly sure why. Now that Canada Post went to the community mailbox, no idea. Um, but yeah, what had happened is um, the two weeks I was off from WCB, um, because I was off completely, the way my employer has it set up is that WCB will pay me any money out that is if I'm off completely. So those two weeks, they sent out a check at 90% of my income. And they sent it to my new address and you'd say, well, what that happened? The shortest version to say that is my new doctor who is on the far, far south side of Edmonton, because I'm going to be living two communities past Edmonton on the south. Um, she is connected to what we, what they call an, I think they're just in Alberta. I don't know. They might be in all of Canada, primary care networks. 
So she knew that's where I was moving to. I didn't, I don't have to live in, um, Ledoux County is the area, um, to have her as a doctor, but you have to live in Ledoux County to be connected to the primary care network. So because I will be living in Ledoux County, she, um, used that address on my WCB forms because she knew that number one, I had to get x-rays and she didn't want me to have to go through emergency. Number two, she was 99% sure I was going to have to get my foot cast, which I did. I had to get a soft cast. And by connected to the primary care network, I was able to just walk into the hospital and get my x-rays. And I was just able to walk into the orthopedic clinic and get my foot wrapped. And then when I had my wrap taken off, I was just able to just walk in. So if you're connected to the network, then you're able to access the services easier. And so she had used my my new address and when the WCB caseworker um, instead of questioning why my work was using my old address which is two communities east of the city uh, instead of the instead of my WCB worker questioning like calling me and saying why do you have two addresses which one's correct or whatever she just automatically sent it to the one that the doctor had sent it to and we didn't have access to our community mailbox through Canada Post yet and we're not supposed to until we get possession of the house. But I was able to talk to the Canada Post, there's an actual Canada Post office in the town I'm gonna to live in. I talked to the manager there. She talked to our builder and they said, yes, absolutely. She has like her and her husband have bought this house, whatever. So they said, if I just came in with my contract, I was able to get them. So luckily, if not that, that check would still be locked in that mailbox and risk being returned um, if mail stays there for more than a couple of weeks um, Canada Post will return it because they when they take it they take the whole front off and put the stuff in so they can see if stuff's been left there because um, <clears throat> I don't get position in my house till September the 8th so technically I wasn't supposed to get my keys until then so I was very grateful that I could work with Canada Post and my builder and everyone to get that check uh, day 181 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for Craft Beer Market. First of all, the food is amazing. Second, they were kind enough to employ two of my wonderful participants from Intake One. Um, and third, and most importantly, they replace your food for free and no questions asked when a bird flies over the patio and poops on your supper. Hashtag true story, hashtag only me, hashtag summer living, and hashtag patio problems. So this is just what craft beer market looks like, the front of it. Um, yeah, so my husband and I went there um, just to show them some love, you know, like ch ch check them out, show them some love. They not only took one person into their kitchen to train up through the kitchen and then to pay to go to culinary school, but they took two people, um, which is quite an investment. And so I was like, let's go there, let's have some food, let's, you know, let's check it out. And my husband loves sitting on the patio when he can, so we sat on the patio. And just by coincidence, a seagull flew over and he pooped and it fell right into my lemonade, right on my food. Yeah. It was not fun. Um, but I didn't get any on myself, so that was good. Uh, day 192 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful I found these two protein powders. I've been looking for a flavorless pow protein powder for a while now. And I'm at the very last of my French vanilla, the one that I have, and the brand has been discontinued. These ones seem to have a few additional perks. They're made from a Canadian product, so it supports local farmers, so it's a hemp protein. Um, second, the hemp seeds, it's hemp seed base, which means it, sh it shouldn't cause any flare-ups with my colitis. And so far it hasn't, and I use it every day. And third, I found it at Superstore, which makes it affordable. I had been to the health food store a few days prior and found this Manitoba Harvest brand, and it was like triple what I found it at Superstore for, and Superstore didn't have it on sale. So there's our, there are the two. The light green is the no flavor, and the bluey green is um, the flavorless. No, I'm incorrect. The, the light green is the no flavor. The bluey green is the French vanilla. Uh, day 193 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful 
for patience. I struggle with patience, but I have faith that patience is a, my patience is about to pay off. Hashtag never give up on your dreams. Hashtag patience are a virtue. So my little picture says, having patience, have patience. All things are difficult before they become easy. That's my cute little picture. And this was um, around my health and around um, some stuff at work. I'm actually being transferred to an office about an hour, about an hour and a half from where I work now. We have about 40 minutes from where I'm moving to. And I'm getting a promotion sometime this fall. So I had shown that I was able to do the work and I just had to have faith that when an opening came up that I would I would be offered it or at least get the opportunity to interview for it. But I didn't even have to interview, they're giving it to me. Um, but being patient with the process of pretty much doing at least half the caseload of the coordinator where I'm being transferred to, plus doing all my facilitating, plus my job coaching, plus my marketing from my existing job was a little bit daunting. Um, but I had to have patience that it would all work out and faith that it would all work out. Day 189 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful that tomorrow is a new day. Hashtag I'm over it. Hashtag this day is a bust. Hashtag tomorrow is a new day. My picture says, isn't it nice to think that tomorrow is a new day with no mistakes in it yet? Um, and I'm not a hundred percent sure what this one was. I think that was about, um, haven't been feeling well and if you read, if you saw my, uh, where I've been over the last five, six weeks video, you know that my health hasn't been great. And I think I was just really sick and in a lot of pain that day. Excuse me, but I was at work and I, the more I tried, it seemed like the worse my pain got, the less I got accomplished. So it was just a very frustrating day. Day 195 of gratitude today, I'm grateful um, to, to be another day closer to getting some answers and so I just have this blue get answer button and this one was about my health um I had went and got a bunch of blood work and tests and whatever done to figure out what's going on with my hormones and if my Cushing's treatment is actually causing my endometriosis to get worse um so I got the test done so I was okay I'm a day closer to getting the answers I just need to once again be patient hang in there and the doctor will figure it out for me. Um, day 196 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for the wonders of modern, modern medicine. It can really be a life changer. So I just have a little operating room. And that was also in regards to my health because I was very concerned. Like my endometriosis, that's a hormonal um, disorder. Cushing's is a hormonal disorder. Cushing's is uh, cortisol. Endometriosis is connected to the female hormones, and I was just really afraid, like, if I continue to treat Cushing's, that the endometriosis is going to get worse, which I can't live with. It, like, increased my pain. It increased my, my symptoms, which I didn't even think was humanly possible because of how bad it has been in the past. Um, and so one day I got the test on the next day I got a call saying that there's going to have to be some major adjustments made, but that things are, they're going to be able to work together, um, using some pretty high tech, pretty fancy technology or not technology, but medicine, like modern medicine. So I was quite grateful for that. Uh, day 197 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to be able to relax. It has been a long, just a week, and my head is spinning. And says, I want to live my life without stress and worry. I don't need to be rich or famous. I just want to be happy. And I don't know if I can get this to all fit on my screen at the same time. My tablet. Um, and these pictures all... Unless it's a picture I actually took, these pictures are just stock pictures I find on um, Google. Sometimes it's stuff that I save that I see on Facebook or whatever, but those are pretty much all from stock from 
Google as well. Uh, day 180, or sorry, 98 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to have been able to get some, some things accomplished despite feeling crappy. So I had a picture of myself, but it was absolutely horrific. So I just used my stock picture and this was a Saturday and this just goes back to how crappy I've been feeling lately, but we were able to run around, get some stuff done for the house, get a bunch of stuff done. And yeah. I was able to get it done even though I was feeling horrifically bad. So I was very, very grateful for that. Um, day 199 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful that cooler has prevailed. So keep calm and fight smart. So this is in regards to um, some issues that were going on in my family where I was just like, okay, you got like everyone needs to take a deep breath. Um, Listen to the other side and try to, even if you don't agree with it, even if you don't believe in it, respect the fact that that's the other person's opinion. So, and my family was able to do that for the most part. And if anyone of you guys have watched me for any length of time, you know that my family doesn't have a tendency of getting along. So... It was good to see that that had happened at least for the day. It's all changed again now, but at least people had tried. Day 200 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to not have to change my mental health teams, even though I no longer have an Edmonton mailing address. So this is just doctor, patient, and then the oranges team. So essentially what happened is... I don't, my license, my mailing address is never where I live because when I lived back home about two years before we left, sorry guys, I almost knocked you over, but two years before we moved away, I legit had a stalker, I had to go to court, all that stuff, um, and from that time on, and it was related to my work. So from that time on, the police have allowed me, as long as I register where I do physically live, and the address that I'm using as a mailing address, and as long as I can access stuff in that mailing address, I don't have to have my official address or my license. So if someone saw it, they wouldn't know where I live, essentially. So as long as I've lived in Alberta, I haven't lived in Edmonton, but I've had an Edmonton mailing address until now. Um, because I'm not keeping my current Edmonton mailing address because it's an hour away from where I live. So um, we've changed our mailing address, all those sort of things. But anyways, because I have an Edmonton mailing address, I can access the Edmonton Mental Health Clinic. And now that I'm moving to Leduc County, they're like, oh, you need to use the one in Leduc. And I said, that's fine. I'll call up. I'll get my file transferred. And they didn't want to transfer my file. They wanted me to do an intake. And then they said, well, you're too stable. So I don't know if you're going to qualify for an intake. So they gave me an intake appointment like three weeks later. So I called back my psychologist and said, this is the situation. And she said, let me talk to my manager. And she spoke to her manager. And her manager said, as long as she can make the appointments here in Edmonton, and the clinic is actually two blocks away from where I currently work. It'll be a little bit different once I get transferred south of the city. Um, but right now I can make those appointments perfectly, be much better than I could make them at the other mental health clinic. Even once I move, as long as I live or sorry, work in downtown Edmonton, I can access this clinic much, much easier. Um, so the manager over, like, I don't know, she talked to whoever got over in the system. Um that I could have an, an address out of Edmonton. And then also when my psychologist like, she's never lived in Edmonton. And it's like, well, essentially I've been tricking the system for nine years. Um, but anyways, so I was very grateful that they're letting me keep my psychologist because she's amazing and letting me keep my psychiatrist, even though I've, I actually go to see him today for this, only the second time. I see him every three months for a year, so I saw him three months ago, I'll see him today, see him in three months, and then three months later. Then it should go to every six months, which is what it was with the old psychiatrist. This guy just wants to get to know me, and my old psychiatrist, as it seems, happens to me, because I always end up in um, consulting psychiatrist situations because I am stable. My old psychiatrist that was at this clinic that was doing consulting is now gone to do some specialized therapy. I'm not 100% sure what he's doing. Something to do with adolescence and violence. I can't quite remember. 
Um, day 201 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for kitty cat cuddles after a long stressful day. And this just says, I miss cuddling with you. And it's just two kitty kitties all cuddled up. Day, excuse me, day 202 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for, for one more day and then off for three days. So my, this was on a Wednesday. My work was, I just used the stock picture. My work was closed on Friday. So I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that was really cool because the following weekend, was a long weekend. It was a long weekend of August. Um, day 203 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful my team's hard work paid off. Never stop doing what? Doing your best just because someone doesn't give you credit. So essentially that was around all this work that I was doing for the south of the vacation where I'll be transferred to and really feeling really stressed, like I said earlier, about doing a job and a half, if not more. And that day was when I found out that all the hard work had paid off and things were going to be happening. Uh, day 204 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for meal planning. Meal plan made dinner tonight so much easier and eliminated the temptation not to eat clean. So these are just some of the containers I had made. So there's chicken, uh, green beans, and beets. Uh, granola bar, granola, granola bowl with blueberries. Another one of the same. Uh, some romaine lettuce, broccoli sprouts, sweet potato and chicken, chicken corn and olives and rice. So essentially you can see that I only eat chicken and turkey and that's not by choice, that's due to allergies. Um, day 205 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for an amazing day. Out for brunch shopping, down to the new house, found a trout pond close to my new house. Very exciting. Walked in the park, off to the most amazing supper. I'm truly blessed. And it says, I'm, I may not have everything I want in life, but I'm, I am blessed enough to have all that I need. For this, I am truly grateful. So that was just a really productive Saturday that I had with my husband getting stuff done. Uh, day 206 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful despite the extreme heat. It was like almost 40 degrees um, Celsius. Um... Casper is still eating his wet food with his medicine. So there's a picture of him. And I will be doing a video on his him having to take gabapentin for his arthritis, which they think is why he was attacking his tail. But I'll do a whole video on that. Uh, day 207 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for watermelon. So here's just some chunked up watermelon. I love watermelon. I eat it all the time, but you can't access it where I live in the winter. It's really gross if you can. Uh, day 208 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for Benadryl and cortisone cream because my skin is crawling. So this was because of my eczema. It was crazy. And then not long after I had an attack of electric reaction attack from just fly bites. It was pretty crazy. Um, day 209 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful that I got the soft cast off. However, the skin on my fur foot is messed up and I'm not sure about the new foot brace I'm supposed to wear for the next month. But at least my foot can breathe now. So the top picture is with my new foot brace. The top is a picture with my new foot brace. The bottom is what my foot looked like when they took the soft cast off. It was gross. It's pretty much healed up now, but it was gross. Day 210 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for a four-day weekend. So this is the weekend of August long weekend. So I had two weekends in a row where I had a, um, oh, a four-day weekend. Four-day? Oh, yes. Because Monday was off night and my work was closed on Friday. The only thing better than a long weekend is a short, um, the short week that, the short work week that follows. So that's just a meme I found. 
And then day to 11 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to have been able to spend the evening with my sweet cousin Cindy. This, her and her two brothers are the only family I have in Alberta. And then day to 12 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to have seen one of my past participants in the community doing well and buying her own groceries. So I just used the stock picture. Um, just for confidentiality reasons, but a girl that was in my first intake, who we weren't sure if they, she was going to make it through, she actually, um, she took a job early in Fort McMurray due to the Fort McMurray wildfires. She went up there, her English wasn't great, we're not sure she was going to do well. She was up there for six weeks, she was able to come back with over $10,000 banked, and now she lives on her own and I saw her at the grocery store it was or no sorry I saw her at Costco it was amazing just to see her doing so well and then the last day uh day 213 of gratitude today I'm grateful that my foot allowed me to spend a few hours being a kid again so there's just a picture of my my foot braced and we went to the count, well not county fair because it's in the city, but equivalent to the county fair. With all the games and the rides and the not good for you food, although I did very well. I ate a little barbecue and I had two different types of lemonade and yeah, I did really well. I didn't have, I was going to have a treat at the end. My husband had deep fried Snickers or something, which I can't eat and I was going to have a treat at the end and the only thing that was there was waffle cones of um, frozen yogurt and I was like nope I, I don't feel like that so I'm not going to eat it um, so I did really well so that is my July um, gratitude video hope you guys enjoyed if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or concerns leave them in the down bar and please remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye